What's up, guys? How y'all doing today? Hey, hope you guys are doing well. I know that we're having a beautiful day, enjoying the outside. We wanted a little bit of a change of scenery. We are in Texas, though, so Texas heat, not so fun. Luckily, we're in the shade, though, so it's not too bad. Yeah, it's a bit hot out here. And today, we're going to do a movie review on Brian Banks. Yes. And if this is your first time checking us out, I'm Paul. And, and I'm Grace. And we're right out <laughs> reviews. What we do here is movie reviews, trailer reviews, trailer reactions. I said trailer reviews. TV reviews. <laughs> trailer reactions, mm -hmm. and a Christian perspective. Mm -hmm. And so a Christian perspective is basically just how we can see the gospel and life lessons in the movies that we watch. That's right, man. Mm -hmm. So if anything like that seems interesting to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Ring also, the bell. That's right, because you can <laughs> get some of our new content know when it comes out. Yep. We put videos out every Tuesday and Thursday. Yep, and so we sprinkle a little extra oh, in yeah. every <laughs> once in a while. That's right. Man. <laughs> so we uh, check us out. Brian Banks is an emotional, uplifting uh, uh, movie about a guy who was accused of a crime that he didn't commit. Mm -hmm. I know. Can you imagine being accused of such a heinous crime? I can maybe imagine like some little bitty crime, but being accused of rape, I mean, that is something I, I could not handle that. <laughs> I couldn't handle that a bit, man, because when you get sexual offender, dude, that stays with you forever. Mm -hmm. And then to think that uh, you didn't even do it? I know. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Well, Brian Banks is about a guy who get accused falsely of rape, and then eventually he's exonerated, mm -hmm. and then gets to actually fulfill his dream of being a football player. So what's the good, Grace? There's so much good. <laughs> but I guess to start off, um, the main character, Aldous Hodge, um, that's the one who plays Brian Banks, he was phenomenal. I thought his acting was like top notch. Um, the whole movie I just felt like I could empathize with his character so easily because he portrayed all of those different emotions just like effortlessly, you know, and I could just feel it. Yeah, he did a mm -hmm. phenomenal job. Man, I thought he was great. Mm -hmm. I think he's going to get big. He's going to blow up and yeah. he's black too. <laughs> so that's what's up. That's going to be tight with him. Yeah. Man, he did a, a few motivational speeches in this movie. Mm -hmm. And one time it was with him talking to his, his lawyer, and he just began to cry. And I could just feel mm. that emotion, man. I was like, yes, yes man, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it motivated us, too. We were like, man, we can do it, too, you know? <laughs> yeah. It was pretty awesome. He also did really good whenever there was a scene of him in solitary. I yeah. do have a couple of negative points on that, but we'll talk about that later when we get to the bad. Um, but don't worry, it's not about um, him. It's more on the direction or the director in this movie. Yeah, for so. sure. Well, let's, let's hold off on all those bads. Yeah. We'll, we'll wait till later to do that. What about uh, Sherry though? She did a good mm -hmm. job as his, his mom. mom. Man. Yeah, she did. She did such a great job, man. There was a particular scene where she was in uh, the house with her son and he was looking at some stuff, trying to get ready to go on a date. We didn't mm -hmm. have the money for it. Mm -hmm. And so uh, she was like, here, let me give you this money, baby. And mm -hmm. he's like, no, I can't take it. It's the last bit you got. And she was like, no. What I want is for my baby to be happy. Yes. Yeah, it, it was awesome, man. It was funny because the guy that was next to us in the theater, uh -huh. he started going, come on, mama. Yeah, he was like, come go, on, mama, mama, go, mama. And I was like, yes, <laughs> preach. <laughs> it was awesome. There was also the other scene with her um, whenever um, Brian was getting picked up by the cops. Um, he was literally in his bed asleep. Cops came in to get him, um, and it panned over to um, Sherry Shepard, his mom. And it just showed like that intense, yeah. you know, emotion that she felt, just that that heartache and that desperation and loss that she felt. I mean, sixteen year old son, yeah. you know. Um, That's tough, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought she did good too, man. I could mm -hmm. feel it, dude. I felt so down. Yeah. I think the whole theater actually did as well. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it was just her acting. I also believe it was the direction of the movie, man. The director just set up that scene so perfectly. Yeah, he did, for sure. I think, like you said, the directing was really good in this movie. The whole time, I was, like, just into it. Like, I wanted to know what was going to happen. And, right. you know, with that, like, going into it, I didn't know anything about Brian Banks. I didn't know anything about the movie. Mm -hmm. For, like, the first time ever, I never even watched a preview for this movie. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, I was like, uh, let's just go watch the movie. Yeah. But I didn't know anything about it either, so... Mm -hmm. I was uh, I was caught up on it too. I just mm -hmm. knew that he was a football player and that he got accused of something. I never knew what it was. Right, for uh, sure. So, what's the bad? Well, the bad is I think they didn't really develop Morgan Freeman's character in this movie. Mm -hmm. yeah. Side note: uh, Morgan Freeman <laughs> plays another God character. Yeah, <laughs> so good at those characters. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I really didn't think they developed him well enough. Uh, they said after he'd visited him for a little bit and then he moved on somewhere else that. 
they never saw each other again. But mm -hmm. at the end of the movie, they had like scenes where it showed the real character with the character that right. portrayed him on the uh, movie. And they said that uh, they never lost touch after that. So I think it would have been cool to be able to show how they actually got back in touch mm -hmm. and uh, how that relationship got mended. Yeah, for sure. I think another character that they didn't develop or matter of fact didn't even like have in the movie was um, Brian Banks' dad. Like yeah, there's no backstory. <laughs> there's obviously no character playing him because he's not there. Um, and I, I missed that. Like I wanted to know everything there was to know about Brian and like how he got yeah. to this point in his life. Um, and so I just really missed getting to know that backstory. Yeah. Another person that was missing, I think, was that black lady that played the attorney. Mm -hmm. So I, I didn't know uh, really anything about her. Like I said earlier about a character in the movie with the real character that was in mm -hmm. life. In the uh, end credits. Yeah, yeah it really mm -hmm. didn't show who that was. So I don't even know what part she had to do in the movie. I think she was at it because they wanted to have a black person <laughs> playing their attorney. Hey, more black people in the movie, better for <laughs> us, you know? <laughs> yeah, for sure. So earlier I was talking about um, how he did a good job acting in solitary, but I had some bad points. So yeah, that's right. um, what was that? my bad points was like, obviously I haven't been in solitary. Praise the Lord. Hopefully I, I don't hope ever go. Never goes. <laughs> <laughs> but so I don't know what that's like, but thinking about what it would be like, I don't feel like they portrayed it in like a very realistic way. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I say that is they showed um, Brian Banks going like super, super insane, like totally to the extreme. But then being totally sane and all put back together by the time that they came and got him out of solitary. It just, it didn't add up to me. Yeah, you know? I could feel you on that because he was in there for 60 days. And so it showed him on this arc of getting super crazy and then and then uh, being just completely composed when they mm -hmm. came and got him. Yeah. And I think it would take a little bit longer for to do that. But I don't know. Maybe it was just 30 days completely insane. Mm -hmm. 30 days is how I got back to sanity. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so how would you rate the movie? Uh, me, I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5 R's. That's pretty good. So I thought the movie was actually really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And I recommend that you go to the movies and see it. Yeah. Or at least if you don't, that you have a lot of people around you. Because mm -hmm. the emotional roller coaster of his ups and his downs in this movie, the, the viewers, the crowd, man, they can actually feel it. And mm -hmm. it's something that you should watch with the people that are around you, I think. Yeah, for sure. I love that feeling that we got in the movie theater. Like, what we felt... Like we felt what they felt in the movie mm -hmm. and then we could tell that everybody else was feeling that same way. And so yeah. you just like, it just created this emotional environment of just all these emotions, which I <laughs> love emotions. So I just thought that was really awesome. So because of that and then all the other good things and not really having hardly any bad things to say, I'm going to give it an extra 0.5 and I'm going to make it a four out of five. Highly, highly recommend this movie. I thought it was awesome. Yeah, for sure. Really, really good. I feel you too, man. I can I can see where you get that extra point five because yeah. <laughs> it was a good movie. And uh, if you like this video that we did, this review, please give us a thumbs up. Yep. <laughs> and uh, also uh, share this video if you know anybody yeah. that is on the fence about watching this movie mm -hmm. or not. You know, it's, if you know anybody that actually likes this content, you know mm -hmm. about um, true stories or true crime stories, man, right? Then share this video with them too. Let them know about Brian Banks. It's a good movie. Mm -hmm. Also, man, if you could subscribe, hit that button. Also the noti, so you can find out the next videos that we got coming out. Mm -hmm. We got another uh, one coming out Thursday. That's right, Thursday. <laughs> it's going to be about stories can harm mm -hmm. and stories can heal. Mm -hmm. It's a Christian perspective on the scary movie, Stories to Tell in the Dark. <laughs> so we'll see you guys then. Okay? Until next time, bye guys. Thanks for watching.